Hello and welcome to round 19, the final round of the Sunday Night Championship Season 7 from Abu Dhabi. The championship may be over in terms of the champion, but there's still plenty of fights down the field. We have position 2 and 3 still to fight for uh, with uh, Mars and Gunnar Gamble. We also have the Constructors' Championship undecided, although Williams seem to be on top of that. They only need four points to clinch the title, but Ferrari are looking hot around this Abu Dhabi track. Uh, with us this week, as per usual, we have Ben. Hello, Ben. Are you looking forward to this? Yeah, yeah. Like you say, there's plenty of uh, racing still to be done. There's also the uh, fight between Seeks and Rob for 7th se uh, in the Championship, I believe it is. Um, so yeah, plenty still to play for. Um, Williams just have to stand up to uh, clinch the Constructors Championship, which I'm sure they'll be able to do today. But racing has a funny way of uh, biting you in the bum sometimes. Yep, certainly. Okay, so qualifying on Saturday. Here are the classified results. Yeah, so on pole is the uh, new champion, Gaza in the Williams at 141.1. Uh, second is uh, Amari in the Scudero Toro Rosso. Third, Gunnar Gamble, Dean in the Ferrari. Uh, fourth is Carl in the Sahara Force India. <coughs> Fifth for Ben in the uh, Red Bull. Sixth for Gavin in the, the second Williams, hoping to back up Gaza for the championship today for the team. Seventh is uh, Seeks in the Ferrari. Eighth for Rob in the other Red Bull and Wexter in ninth uh, in the Toro Rosso. Yep, Gaza putting it on pole, trying to show the world why he is the champion this season. Yeah, he just wants to show uh, that he deserves the championship, not that anyone doubts that. <laughs> yep. He's just going out with a bang. Yep, that's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> Lining up on the grid for the final time this season, Gaza on pole. Mars in second, Gunnar Gamble in third, Ben Lacey in fifth, Red Pill in sixth, Seats in seventh, and Rob Noxious down in eighth. So, on board with Ben Lacey at the start in fifth, starting on the prime tyres, everyone else around him is on options, but the lights come up, and we're away for the final time in season seven, and uh, Carl gets a good start as oh Red Pill is already passed Ben into the first corner. Oh bit of contact there. The uh, Carl managing to hold it, but everyone's got through turn one successfully and turn two by the looks of things. As we run down into turn four now, as, uh, looks like uh, one, someone I think it's Carl running a bit sideways there. Oh, and Ben's being hit by six, and. Yeah, he just holds it. Six has dropped back, and teammate Rob Nox, uh, Ben's teammate Rob Noxious is through as well. So maybe Six lost it a bit on after that contact. It did come from a long way back, it did seem. But Rob Noxious is in the slipstream now. As we look back at him, can he make a move on his teammate, or will he let his teammate just carry on? But there's a lot of battles in, in front. Oh, with four abreast almost going through there. Absolute chaos. Closing the whole field up, that's going to allow Omari at the front, I think. They look like both the Williams are there. Uh, looks like Omari will probably be able to pull a bit of a gap. There's now Ben Alacy's under attack from Seek, so he's having to look down the inside. Will he make the move? Or will Ben hold it round the outside? Looks like Ben braked a bit later, holding it round the outside and securing that position. Oh, Carl's being spun uh, by Williams, maybe. Maybe there's a bit of contact. And now we're all closed back up again. As Gunnar Gamble squeezes through and Ben is having a look down the inside possibly. Oh, he backs out and now we're on board with Rob as we go through the right hand. Oh, Seeks is pushing him to the wall there. Maybe he wasn't quite aware but maybe a bit cheeky there from Seeks. And Rob is still back in... Oh, Rob's made a place from 7th obviously because of Carl spinning. As we come round to complete a rather dramatic first lap. Wow, well, I haven't said anything yet. This is I'm totally out of breath watching it. <laughs> it's a real end of term atmosphere here. And, you know, it's like everyone's throwing their toys at the pram. It's like, let's go for it, boys. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was a crazy first lap. Um, ben seems to be causing some of it with his primes. He's just holding, bunching the pack up. And then... Oh, and Rob's into the wall. 
puncher and damaged front wing, that is going to be detrimental to his efforts in beating Six. But we're on board with the repo now, and oh, guys are getting a poor start. Um, not quite, it didn't seem like he was ready for the lights to go out that quickly as Amari down the inside pushes Gazza a bit wide and does take the lead into turn two. Got Gunner Gamble in uh, on the left side there, but Carl seems to have got him now and into turn four. Gazza seems pretty comfortable, a bit of oversteer, uh, but yep, yeah, working the wheel nice, nice and hard there. So we're joining Rob on board at the start now. Gets a pretty good launch. Better than Seek, surprisingly, who's on the pad. But oh, <laughs> kind of comes across him a bit. Seek so seems to be a bit aggressive in the first lap. Which isn't. Well, it's pretty unlike him to be this aggressive at some point. Then, you can see Seeks is actually on the primes as well there. So that's there's two people running on primes, which is Seeks and Ben. So we have to watch out for them later in the race when they're running the options. Yeah, they see Six having a little, a little battle with oh, hitting Ben and Rob just taking full advantage of that. Um, even having a look round the outside of Ben. Yeah, no, no harm, no foul there. Six is actually uh, losing more time than anything there. Surprisingly, Rob doesn't uh, pull Ben in on the slipstream here. We know they're running roughly the same wings. But anyway, this is the congestion down into the first of the. Uh, Mm. The tight corners, the chicanes, and well, you can just see Carl's up the inside of them. I think it's Dean, and then there's Red Pill, and then there's Gareth, yeah. and it's just chaos. And that bunches the rest of them up. You saw Seeks take a big dive from way back there, so it's carried on the aggressive start that um, he showed already. Yeah, and actually, there was some good driving here because there could have been more drama, but Seeks falls in, and then not still not sure what happened between those two guys. I guess they. They didn't go single file into that tight corner. Yeah, as you're on board with Six now on lap two, running down the, uh, the first DRS straight. Obviously, DRS not in, uh, not available yet. But Ben and Lacey just in front, and these two guys will be probably racing each other, seeing as they're both starting on the primes. You only need two to do it. Um, Six seems to close up a bit through the chicane. Probably a bit too far back to take a move down the inside as he switch, switches the fuel mixture down to the lean. And ben missing the apex by quite a bit there, allowing Seeks to catch up. Seeks taking a lot of curb and tucking in right under the rear wing of the Red Bull. As Seeks get a good exit, he's going to have a look down the inside. This is going to be risky. Oh, Seeks very close to the wall there. That's not a place you want to try to overtake. I don't think I've ever seen anyone ever overtake through those corners. Rabbit ended in tears, but yeah, Six looks good. Uh, he looks faster than Ben on the primes. Yeah, um, could have been a bit of a uh, carnage there if Six didn't pull out. Um, but Ben had the right to close the door, and so he did that. <laughs> yep, Gunnar Gamble set the fastest lap 43.503 as we head to lap 3, and the DRS is now available. So. Will Seeks use this to his advantage because Ben's not a second behind anybody at the moment, so this will uh, give yeah. Seeks. Oh, he's ran wide. Yeah, Seeks running over the curbs. He could have lost it there, but he managed to hold the car nicely and still in range of the DRS detection. Yeah, crucially, still within range. Should get a good exit out of here. Try a better traction all weekend than the Red Bull. Red Bull really struggling with uh, setup this week. Yeah, he's opened the DRS, fixed fuel mixture up to standard. Um, a lot of teams, well, most teams run it. Oh, he's down the inside. And will he stick it? Runners wide just to kind of cut him off, maybe. Um, bit of oversteer, but Ben not but really able to take advantage. Ben probably will have the DRS and should be coming back at Seeks now. But he still seems a bit too far back to make a serious diet, uh, move down the inside, but no. Slips in back in sixth. 
and yeah. Sig takes the lead of the Patia, the two drivers on the primes. Yep, the number 44 Ferrari now up into fifth place, and he will look to try and hunt down some of the option runners. Yep, and Gaza is now into the pits from the lead. Um, some team, some drivers have already taken their pit stops, as you can see from the race director there. Um, as I was saying earlier, uh, some most teams seem to be running less fuel than they need to get to the end of the race, so a lot of fuel saving is going into this race. It seems. Um, Gaza down to fourth now as he comes out of the pits. Uh, it's both the prime runners will still be ahead. Um, and yep, Six is in the lead now. Up 11. Whoa! A lot of oversteer there. Tyres obviously going off and directly into the pits from that mistake. Yeah, he's uh, come to the end of the life of these tyres now, but he has now two options, Stint sort of said. He may try one, but I wouldn't advise it. Um, and see where he comes out, I and mean, he'll be fast now for the rest of the race. See how, he, see how many paces he can make up. Yeah. As six of us look at the race director, he is the last one to stop, it seems. Um, although Ben might be in the pits just behind him, actually. Um, as he comes out in fifth, Red Pool ahead, Carl just behind. In fact, yeah, you can see Carl just about in the mirrors. Um, yep, this is Ben, who did just come in just behind Six. Going on to the options. Yeah, he's not made the primes work for him as well as Seeks has. Uh, again, problems with the Red Bull this weekend, but let's see if the change to option tyres can bring a bit more pace. Yeah. On to lap 14 now. Gaza challenging Amari Amar for the lead as he's just set the fastest up of the race. <coughs> yeah, he's homing in real fast. A little bit wide there by Amari, but Gaza looks a lot faster now. Yeah, Gaza. Gaza on the option, and now he looks to be on the primes to me. So it looks like Gaza's going to go for a prime stint at the end. Yeah, that's a crucial point now. She's gone option, option to option prime for Amari, so going a different way. Yeah, quite a simple DRS pass there. Just a matter of keeping it on the track limits and not overshooting. But Gaza, being the champion, shouldn't really make mistakes like that, and he doesn't. Taking that pace pretty easily, really. Yep, so number two goes into number one, a bit like his uh, number for next season. Yep, definitely. Um, yep. Also trying to save a bit of fuel there, as long as he can, he even, he even sets a faster sector despite switching his revs down there. As, as, as you uh, said earlier, fuel is a major issue in this race. Mm. Now we're back on board with Six, who's closed in a lot, and uh, Gavin, who is on the primes, uh, Gavin, you're probably going to be quite a bit slower, uh, obviously, because yours is in the slower tyres, and Seeks has been looking quick around this track all weekend, yeah, uh, despite his qualifying result. <laughs> yeah, he's catching Gavin, the newcomer, and the number 31, Williams. Quite impressive newcomer, he seems to have picked up the pace pretty quickly, but he's got Seeks behind him, and Seeks is looking pretty, pretty uh, racy today. Yeah, let's hope for the sake of both of them that there's nothing that's going to cause them to make contact or ruin each other's races but Six definitely in DRS zone range oh Gavin losing it there um, judging by Six's reaction it's, <laughs> he's not too happy um, uh, Gavin will now probably pick up DRS unless he did go over the line ahead of Six yeah it does appear that Gavin has got the DRS very cheeky there Although it might have been a mistake, but it looked on board with Seeks like Gavin just pulled over. Uh, Gavin trying to hold it round the outside. Seeks squeezing him, but giving him room on the next corner. Good driving by the pair, and Seeks gets better traction. Gavin probably get DRS. No, Seeks has got DRS. So that worked in his favour there. So probably a bit of karma. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, to be fair to Gavin, I think he probably got caught out by one of these horrible curves. Um, they can pretty much spin you on the spot. They're um, pretty violent. So I think that sent him wide because you wouldn't ordinarily just pull over and let someone through. So I think it was just a mistake on his part. Yeah. Um, now we've got Ben closing in fast on Carl, who is on the 
primes it looks like uh, Ben's going to get a DRS and we're probably, he looks a bit far back actually to, not, to make a move into the next corner. Yeah. Yeah, didn't even get the DRS actually there. It's too far back for that. But um, it's closing in down the straight, so maybe Carl's in a fuel saving uh, mode at the moment. Looks like Ben's done his fuel saving because he's on an optimal fuel there, we can see on the right hand side. Yeah. Ben see closed in massively under there. Let's see what we can do down here. The DRS is now open. Carl's light flashing, which does kind of suggest he is in fuel saving mode, but Ben down the inside anyway, a pretty standard DRS pass there. Yeah, no real defence from Carl. Knows that he's not racing Ben at the moment. Um, not worth uh, risking an accident when you're not fighting someone uh, who's on a different strategy. Yeah, that's a pretty clever strategy. I mean, you can just hang on to him. Maybe you can come back to him later, like you were saying. Yeah. So Six is running in P4 now by five seconds behind his teammate. Oh, penalty! For corner cutting on the shing. Yeah, for corner cutting. Fucking hell. That's... Yeah. Six going all jigs of hazard there across the curves. Um, but yeah, uh, that's unfortunate and that will affect his race obviously at the end. Yeah, and we see the Williams, oh, and Ben following in. Uh, Gavin, uh, both on that 19. Uh, ben doing a good job to close back in. And it looks like he's making some adjustments to his uh, steering wheel. Yeah, he's making some. Uh, Steering and traction adjustments there by the looks of it. Obviously, like I say, obviously wasn't happy with the sense of his car during the race. Still clearly not happy, but he's managed to jump Gavin weirdly in the pits there. Whether Gavin had uh, some uh, wing damage there that necessitated a new wing, we're not sure, but he's definitely jumped him in the pit stop. Yeah, great work by the Red Bull team there. As Gazza pitched in the lead, about 21. The question is, where will he come out? Still in the lead, and you can't see anyone coming down the straight. So, will he still be in the lead when he comes out? If he is, he should have this race in the bag. Yeah. Uh, they can't see anyone on the map there. He looks like he's going to have this. Yeah. The uh, mini map there, and he is, he is in the lead. Miles ahead as Seeks pits to, from for another set of options. Final stint. Let's see how hard he can push the got up there with three guys ahead of him. Uh, as we're joining back on board with Ben who has Carl and it looks like Gaza just in front uh, Gavin just in front so at some point Gavin has got back in front of Ben although we've obviously missed that. Right, we're hearing from the Williams team who sent us a tweet there that it was actually down this first DRS straight the lap before. So uh, yeah, Ben must have come out in front of him but Gavin's got it all the first DRS straight, so obviously stayed within a second. Yeah. So, uh, Ben's got it all to do now. Gonna have to try and force his way past a very racy uh, force injury of Carl and Gavin, who is very hard to get past on his day. Yeah, there's a few things to consider here. Obviously, Ben's done his fuel saving has. Oh! Oh, well, that's bad. That could have been the end of two previous races there. Yeah, sorry we stopped talking there, but we thought it was going to be an aircraft crash. <laughs> that was huge. It was just avoiding action at the last minute. I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah, just looked like uh, Carl had stopped on the track. Ben with uh, lightning quick reactions to avoid him. But now Carl, it all, it, Carl is just, seems to have hit Gavin's wheel and sent him round. But Ben trying to make the most of it just behind him. Does get the DRS and he should pull away here. Should be an easy enough move and Ben is not going to complain about about making places like that. It did look pretty strange on Ben's being like uh, Gavin had pulled over for a picnic there but obviously not. There's contact between the two guys. They're both hard charges and possibly inevitable in the end. Mm. So penultimate lap and Ben has caught the back of Carl again. It's going to be Hard to get past. Yeah, it's like an ongoing battle. Uh, Mercedes engine, uh, Force India in front, a pretty good donkey in the back of that, so it'll be hard to pass him on straight, but he's got the revs full on, he's got the DRS wide open. Yeah. Oh, Carl breaking later and stopping it perfectly, holding the position. Good driving there by Carl. 
Ben will know it will, yeah, it will be a bit of wobble there, but he will get the DRS again. Will he be able to make a move into the uh, the chicane? That's weird. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, maybe I overrated the donkey in the back of the Force India. Uh, <laughs> looks like Carl's backed off there. Maybe there's a, some contact we don't understand. But anyway, on to the last lap anyway, and uh, looks like Gaz is going to bring this home. Yeah. Oh, no. Ben, last lap penalty. Yeah, the Dukes have hazard him everywhere. <laughs> yeah. That's a real shame for the Red Bull driver. A solid drive into fifth. Uh, and that penalty is going to cost him probably two places. Uh, the Force India and the Williams are still fighting. Uh, Gavin getting the DRS, but Carl's sitting in the back of it, so he's pr pretty much getting the toe as well. Will we try around the outside? No, Gavin locks up a bit, and Carl with the cutback. Great overtake, although Carl kind of dumps a curb. Definitely Jukes of Hazard there. Uh, <laughs> and then, oh, still a lot of contact them to sit. <laughs> Probably not the. Uh, Happiest of conversations to be in after the race, I wouldn't have thought. These two are going to be fighting from out of the car park at this rate, the way this is going on. <laughs> yeah, but Gaza showing us why he is the world champion and crossing the line to take the final race of the season. And with it, the Drivers' Championship. Yeah, already clenched out, but it's nice to uh, drive with the pressure off and uh, bring it home for a great result. Yeah. Here are the classified results. Yeah, so like I say, Gaza bringing it home for a wonderful victory, clinching the constructors' title in style. Uh, Dean tried all his best to, to uh, beat Gaza, but couldn't. Um, a late penalty there for Amari, forcing him back into third after he did cross the line second, I believe. Um, Seeks a great result for fourth, coming through the field on his primes. It made that work for him. Uh, Gavin in fifth place for Williams, backing up. Uh, Gaza well in the last half of the championship to uh, seal it for Williams. I think it's been crucial that Gavin's come into the team. Uh, sick for Ben in the uh, hopeless Red Bull this weekend, but uh, bring it home for some points in the end anyway. And he actually did beat Carl despite his penalty. Carl in seventh. Wex, a, a great result for him in eighth and continues his progress. And Rob, as we saw, having a lot of issues there in ninth. Yeah. Uh... Amari and Seeks did finish a set the race one second apart actually at the end. Wow. Uh, so Seeks closed right in at the end. Uh, but unfortunately both of them had a penalty so yeah, <laughs> neither sorry, could I take advantage. And I'm curious to know what happened to Carl. Well, well it looks like, I think uh, we haven't quite got the footage but I have seen some that um, there was a further contact underneath the hotel <laughs> um, which uh, I think Carl was on the back end of and spun. Both drivers were laughing about it after the race, though, to be fair. Fair enough. <laughs> Good play, then. Um, so, end of the season. Uh, let's join the podium for the final time this season. As Gaza wins for his sixth, the sixth time and underneath the falling sun. Perfect way to end the season. Yep. Well done to Gaza, well done to Williams. The rest of the, the uh, championship runners. Yeah. So here is the final uh, point standings at the end of the season. Yep. So Gareth Williams winning the championship in the car number two for Williams, 302 points. Dean second for Ferrari, number 46, 236. Amari third for Toro Rosso, car number 10, 221 points. Then it's fourth for Ben in the Red Bull in car seven. Carl fifth for in car 92 Force India. Uh, sixth, Gareth, who will return next season, which is great news. Uh, in the McLaren, car number one, but not for, not for next season, unfortunately. Uh, seventh for Seeks in uh, the Ferrari number 44. Eighth for Rob in the Red Bull, car number 53. Uh, ninth for Martin, controversial Martin, should be his name. Uh, <laughs> and there was Mercedes, car number 14. And running out of the top 10 was Neil, who left us halfway through the season for technical issues. Issues. Um, car 91, he actually drove for Williams at the time. Uh, just rounding it all out, if you want me to. Lance, 11th. Indirect, 12th. 13th for Steve. 14th, Gavin, but obviously he only did a, like a quarter of the season. Uh, Chris, 15th. Andy, 16th. Graham, 17th. Peter, 18th. And Jeremy, 19th. Yep. So, 
uh, in the teens, if you want to yeah, <laughs> carry on with yeah, that. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> uh, Williams easily, uh, well, not easily, but constructors champions anyway, 402 points. Ferrari second on 356. Red Bull third, 321. Fourth for Toro Rosso, 238. Fifth for Force India, 234. Sixth for Mercedes, 195. Seventh for the silver car, which is actually a McLaren. 146 points, and obviously the Lotus wasn't driven very often and scored four for right. eighth. So, after a season that gave us seven different winners, 14 different podium finishers, seven people gaining pole positions, and 10 people with fastest laps, it is the end to by far the most competitive season this championship has ever seen. So, <laughs> Please join us next season for what, what I'm sure will be an equally competitive and action-packed season. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>